Chris McCoskey of Emerging Civil War, and I'm in downtown Galveston, Texas, the birthplace of the Juneteenth celebration. Now, my birthday happens to be on June 19th, so I'm excited that it's a federal holiday now. But the holiday gets its origins here. Uh, on June 18th, 1865, Major General Gordon Granger came to Galveston to occupy Texas following the surrender of John McGruder and Edmund Kirby Smith. Took, the, took place earlier that month. And on the 18th, he arrives, he's got several thousand troops, and the next day, he issues General Order 3, which breaks the news to many enslaved people in Texas that they are, in fact, free and have been since the issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation, which went into effect on January 1st, 1863. They're so far into uh, rebel-held territory that they never got the news. And so this uh, issuance of General Order 3, which talks about absolute equity, uh, really is the stunning, amazing thing that, that uh, these same people here begin to celebrate uh, the following year. Um, they have what's called Emancipation Day celebrations. Um, they sort of uh, gain in, in popularity throughout the South, throughout the country, although they then become less in fashion. Uh, but in the 1970s, Texas actually declared Juneteenth a state holiday. And of course, it was just named a national holiday in 2001. Pretty incredible work of art here at the corner of 22nd and Strand, which is where Gordon uh, Granger unveiled his announcement. This 5,000 foot mural was unveiled in June of 2021 to commemorate Juneteenth and the national celebration that it had become. It was painted by Reginald Adams, a Houston area artist and a team that worked with him. It's 5,000 square feet. And it goes from the arrival of enslaved people in the New World all the way to the Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, Gordon uh, Granger, and then of course uh, we've got the modern civil rights movement that uh, really kicks off in the mid-1950s. Uh, Granger, kind of an unsung hero. I'll recommend a biography by Bob Connage, a friend of mine from Grand Connage, who's got a great book about Bob. Uh, I uh, highly recommend that. I really love the symbolism in the painting, all the details. For instance, in the uh, four main panels, each central figure is holding something in his or her hand. Um, you've got USCT troops, you've got cameo appearances by famous people, and I really like, in the end, how forward-thinking the painting is. Right outside the square, there is a state historical marker that talks about the story of Juneteenth. You can get Juneteenth Freedom Trail tours here in Galveston as well. There's a lot of Juneteenth history to explore. For Emerging Civil War, I'm Chris Mikowski. We will see you online, on the battlefield, and on the trails of history.